Hey guys, good morning. It's 6 a.m. on a Monday, and for today, I'm going to show you my current diet plan. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through my day, show you each meal, break it down for you, also give you useful tips on how to lose weight and put on lean muscle mass. Remember, guys, my diet is based on my goal. As of now, I want to put on good quality lean muscle mass. So this diet is specifically tailored in order for me to hit that goal. If I want to lose weight, my diet would completely change. Secondly, what works for me may not work for you. So this diet works for me. It may be completely different for your requirements and for your goals. I always start my day with a glass of wheatgrass juice. Okay, you can see this. This is about... Let uh, that focus properly. Hold on. Yeah. So this is wheatgrass juice. So I begin my morning with a teaspoon of wheatgrass juice. Having wheatgrass juice is a very good way to clean your system. It's obviously rich in minerals and vitamins which are your micronutrients. So other than your macronutrients, you have your micronutrients which are equally important. Which people tend to forget but you know make sure you keep this in mind. You have your macro and your micronutrients. So meal number one is one bowl of oats, four roll eggs and about two egg whites. So if you break that down, it's about 42 grams of protein, 53 grams of carbs and about 26 grams of fats. I just finished my breakfast, getting ready to hit the gym. Today I do legs and I will see you guys at the next meal. supplementation there are so many questions regarding supplementation anyway let's not get into that right now but I definitely will talk about this topic sometime in the near future all right so what I take for protein supplementation all I do is I just have one scoop of whey protein concentrate and that's more than enough just one scoop not a heap scoop let me show you guys Hold on. There's a huge misconception regarding protein supplements. A lot of people think that these protein supplements are like magic powders, but it doesn't work that way. 100 grams of chicken breast, or I would say 8 egg whites, is about 26 grams of protein. But a shake would be about 25 grams of protein. It's the same thing. People depend on supplementation because it's convenient. Because when people don't have time, all they can do is just take a scoop, put it in your shaker, and you're done. Meal number two, which is our post workout meal. So here we have. 150 grams of chicken breast, 250 grams of brown rice, half a big potato, and some curry. So the macros on this meal would be 46 grams of protein, 67 grams of carbs, and about 18 or 19 grams of fats. Right now, I'm at meal number three. Here what we have is 150 grams of sweet potato, 100 grams of black beans, uh, some assorted vegetables, 150 grams chicken breast and some curry. So the macros would be 50 grams protein, 65 carbs and about 10 fats. So most people completely eliminate carbs from their diet in order to lose weight. Well in my opinion you have to have a good proportion of all your macronutrients. Each macronutrient is equally important as the other. So regardless of your goal, whether you want to lose or gain weight, you have to have a good proportion of your macronutrients. See you guys at the next meal. Quick tips for fat loss. Stay at a deficit. Let's say for example, your maintenance is 1500 calories. Stay at 1100 calories and you will lose weight. Eat a lot of fiber. Fiber will suppress your appetite and will cleanse your system. Substitute simple carbohydrates with complex carbohydrates. For example, stop white rice and bread and instead of white rice and bread, you can have um, 
black beans, sweet potato, brown rice, etc. Carb cycling. The way your body responds to carbohydrates all depends on the hormone insulin. Now when there are too many carbohydrates in your bloodstream and you're not using them, you become insulin insensitive, which means which means the hormone isn't efficiently shuttling the carbohydrates to your cell for use. So all these extra carbohydrates get stored in your body as fat. If you have high body fat, chances are that your body isn't utilizing those carbohydrates efficiently. So in my opinion, the best way to go about this is carb cycling. So a day where you have less physical activity or no physical activity, you go on very low carbs. A day where you have moderate phys the a day where you have moderate physical activity, you go on medium carbs. And a day where you have high physical activity, you go on high carbs. So this is carb cycling. So what happens is the carbs are utilized efficiently by the body and not stored as fat. Right now, I'm at meal number four. So we have 100 grams chicken breast, 150 grams brown rice. 100 grams black beans, some curry and some veggies. So that would be about 30 grams of protein, 63 grams of carbs and 12 grams of fat. We have finally come to the last meal of the day, which is 250 grams sweet potato and some almonds and walnuts. That would be 8 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs and 18 grams of fats. Also, right before I sleep, I have a scoop of casein and 1000 mg of omega 3 fish oil. So basically, I get in a total of about 3000 calories a day, out of which 300 from carbs, 226 from protein, and, 80, and 86 from fats. Yes. Thanks for all the support and love. Please comment, like, and subscribe.